Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel where we upload these meetings in case you missed them. Today, we'll be discussing Duper, a pickleball playing app that allows you to track and keep score of your local events and also join clubs and also find partners that you might want to play with in the future in your local community. So here in front of me, I have my dashboard, essentially what everything, what what I what my personal score is, um, what my score is throughout the week, throughout the month, the games that I've last played, the wins and losses. We can also see my average points, my average partners that I've gone against, and then the average opponents that I've gone against. So here we're just going to take a real quick deep dive at this homepage. As we can see here, I am ranked as a doubles partner, uh, as a doubles player, uh, as a three point. Four two six. Essentially, what this means is the higher the ranking you have, the better at pickleball you are. So as of right now, I'm a pretty average player since I have just recently started playing this year um, with my high school. Um, and I have just started using this app and just started getting into those tournaments and doing all those sorts of things. Because I have a tennis background, I fall in the kind of the average area. Um, so this kind of allows me to kind of play against better opponents, but at the same time still keeps me at a place where I'm still learning things and I'm still experimenting with pickleball, which is where a lot of people typically are when they first start out with pickleball. There's also the singles category, and seeing as I have never played a singles match um, in an actual tournament, I played plenty of singles, singles matches, um, not, a, not in a tournament. We have no score for that right now. So the highest that this score can go to, I believe, is around 5.8 or higher. Um, that basically means that you're a pro level at pickleball. Um, you have a ton of experience behind you, and you have a high win and loss rate. So the way that Duper works is the way that is the is through any tournament that you play when you join a club, um, Duper will automatically be, be there to track and to keep score. So if the club is not affiliated with Duper, your scores will not be tracked. Of course, you can also input these uh, scores yourself in case you are looking to keep track yourself. But normally when you play with a club, like how I'm playing with a club, they'll track it for me and they'll add it in eventually when they get down, when they get there later down the line. So here we have, uh, here we can see I am part of the uh, PBC Junior uh, Pickleball uh, Challenge. Um, this was a tournament that I played, which is the Pickleball Club of Carlsbad. Um, so here we have a loss against some partners that I was playing. We have a win, we have another loss, and then we have a win. So to my surprise, I actually uh, got very close to getting third in this tournament. And the only reason why I did not get third in this tournament was because I became extremely tired and I just wanted to be done with the tournament. Um, we could have pushed further, but unfortunately in this last, uh, where's the last game? Unfortunately in, in, in this game, uh, we just, or no, is this game up here? Unfortunately in this game, we just kind of gave up and kind of let the other players win because I wasn't really looking to uh, go on any further so here we can see my score, my status against these players. We can see my partner status. He's currently a 3.041. We can see the people that I was playing against. We can see that he's a 3.6 and the other players at 3.6. Um, we can also see where they're located and also um, kind of what they do uh, with their with their scoring and how we can see this. So we can also see the score, as we can see, it was 13-15, which means we did play a strong fight um, and we did keep it going for quite a while. This bar graph here also allows you to track the progress of your um, pickleball experience. So the way that a bar graph would fluctuate, you would see that here. So if you were to drop in pickleball ranking, let's say you did horrible at a tournament, this bar graph would obviously go down and then it would raise and then it would go down and then it would raise and so on and so forth. We can also see how many wins uh, you have gotten throughout your tournament days. So seeing that I've only played one tournament, I only have two wins and I only have two losses. My average points are almost, almost 50%. Um, where I'm scoring 50% um, of the time. 
My average partner lies at a 3.04 on the scale ranking, which essentially means that he is uh, a bit below average, below me. We can also see my average opponent is ranking at a 3.62, which means that opponent is a little bit above me, but but uh, not to the point where they're that much better to that much better than me. We can also go here where I can add a new match. So I can put the event name in. Let's say, let's say the event name was go 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 club. And then we can put in location, we can put the date that it was played at. If there's any partners, um, we can put in any partners, we can put the opponents, we can put the scores for uh, each game. We can also put in the scores for a rally, which essentially means that you are going back and forth. Um, but as we can see, we can put the standard score. So let's say we won 11-11. Uh, this was, let's say, 10. The following game was 13 15, uh, and then so on and so forth. And then you can track it. You can also search a player by name. So if I were to look up, uh, let's say I were to look up somebody random. Let's say, let's just add in this guy named Matthew here. So if I were to add Matthew, that means that I would also need to fill out this section where I add in two other players, seeing as it is doubles at that point. We can also see local players in my area. So these players here are local players um, that I can play against that have a higher score or a similar score to me. So I can click on their profiles. I can see, okay, they're sponsored by this pickleball club. This is this is who they are. This is their ranking. As we can see, um, this woman here has a 5.3 uh, on the scale with a 5.2. Um, in singles, which essentially means she's a pro love player, we can also look at her her um, average games. So she played in the 2023 BioFreeze U.S. Pickleball National Championships, which means she's a really good player if she's playing there. So we can go go here and we can see her average score. We can see that she has 213 wins with 95 losses, an average of 57.94. Um, average points. Her partner ranges um, at a pretty professional level, and her, her opponent also ranges at a pretty professional level. So going through, looking at these players kind of give you a look at what you might be up against or, or potential partners that you might want to play with. Um, so if I were to look up different people in my area, let's like, let's say Ivan Vo here. If I were to look at him, he has currently no rankings. And I might think, okay, either he hasn't played a tournament before or none of his stuff is tracked. We can also search for pickleball clubs in my local area or areas that aren't local to me. So as we can see here, the clubs that I'm a part of is the Pickleball Club of Carlsbad here, where anybody can join um, and anybody can have that experience of playing alongside. We can also see the amounts of people that are within the club. We can see who is a part of the uh a part of the club. Um, we can also see the matches, uh, the events that are happening. So the events that are happening right now are none um, since there's no events happening that are hosted. Um, but if an event were to be hosted, this is where you'd sign up. You'd come here under your club's um, event page and then you'd sign up um, and you'd be entered into the into the tournament. Typically, some of the tournaments are free to enter, but also some of the other tournaments do have to pay. So the tournament that I played in, there was a cost of $20 for entry, um, and that was for both partners. So realistically, it was just $10 for me and then $10 for my partner to enter, and that was it. Now we could start playing, start going through, um, and get that tournament out of the way. There's also, there's also the way to search for other clubs. So here we can see that we can look at different types of clubs in different states, different cities, different locations, things of that nature. And we can also see their matches. We can also see their events if you're trying to join any other events in a different area. Um, we can also see the different events that are coming up. So here we see Red Mountain Ranch uh, Triple Crown Series Pickleball. Um, so we can see that there are that the, the registration is here. Um, we can see that there's different types of uh, registration. So we can see 
there's singles, there's combined, there's doubles, um, there's women's, there's men's, there's mixed, um, whatever you are looking for, um, that will be what you sign up for. And as we can see here, are you a member of the host club? I say no. Um, I have read all this, blah, blah, blah. I will select my membership uh, or I select my thing that I want to play and then I'd hit continue and then I'd go uh, go through, pay the price, um, and then I'd be entered into this tournament here. Um, we also have other tournaments that are going on. So you can go through and look for different types of tournaments that are related to um that are related or in your local area. We can also look up specific events. So let's look, let's say I wanted to look in San Diego. Uh sure. Let's look in uh let's look in San Francisco, actually, since nothing's happening in San Diego. Um so we can see Bay South Club San Francisco is hosting a Flex League Spring 2024. So as of right now, no players are entered. Um, this tournament is happening in March, so obviously nobody's entered. We can see a little blurb of, about the event that is happening. Um, we can see, we can see the fees, non-member fees. Then we can see the prizes. We can also see the sponsors, like Jerry, like uh, Miles Jane is proud to sponsor this. Um, and then we can also see policies, refund policy, and that sort of thing. Um, up here as well, we have uh, the option to just get rid of the sidebar. That's about it. We also have a chat function. So if you're looking to talk to any players um, that you might necessarily know and you don't really feel like reaching out to them through Instagram or through Facebook or getting their number because you might not be comfortable with that, you can talk to players directly through um the duper app so here i have a friend of mine um i can start messaging him i can type in hey send the message he'll get the message um and he can read it and then respond to me accordingly and we can set something up where we play pickleball together and as you can see here we have my profile we have the ability to edit the profile password security and all the other things that you need so when you first sign up for this app all uh for this yeah for this app all you really need to do is just input your information like your name your email your phone number how old you are your gender where you're located at um your experience with pickleball and then that's about it um and then of course later down the line you will need payment information to uh, register for these tournaments and the nice thing about these tournaments is there is the ability to navigate straight to your tournament so if i were to hit the navigate button we would go directly to the place that the event is hosted at, which saves me a ton of time from actually trying to find um, the location of the pickleball tournament that I'm trying to go to. Um, so other than that, this is kind of just an easy way to find other people who play pickleball to join different types of clubs, whether you are sitting at a begin beginner level, an intermediate level, or an extremely advanced level. This is really something where you can find uh, where you can find people to come together and play pickleball um, despite not having the experience or despite having a ton of experience and just really getting a feel for the game since the game is extremely popular at this point. Um, in my local area, we have courts where every single day at around this time, um, around like five o'clock, there is about... I believe it's about 80 people waiting for courts, 80 people waiting for four courts at a local tennis, uh, at a local uh, pickleball courts that we have. Um, and that's uh, every single day. Um, so people are very invested in this. Um, people enjoy pickleball. It's a great sport to play. Um, very similar to tennis. So if you already know tennis, um, you'd be great at this sport. And other than that, uh, it's just a really good way to bond because you can either have a partner, you can play by yourself, um, and the rules are fairly simple to follow. And it's something that you can just easily pick up, walk out your door, and go start playing. So other than that, I don't have anything else to add. Once again, my name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel in case you miss any of these meetings. Thank you so much for watching.